Hey guys, Ben Plays here. Welcome back to more Great Ace Attorney. Um, today we are going to start case two, and as always, I have with me. <clears throat> Stig Driven. Angel Golden Knight, or just Golden Knight. Alright, let's get started. E episode two The Adventure of the Unbreakable Speckled Band, Investigation Part One. Alright, let's see what this, uh,. corner of that small, dark room, Sholmes and I waited with bated breath. In time, there came from the ventilator a hiss and a soft, almost growl-like sound. Suddenly, Sholmes sprang into action, lashing furiously with his cane at a point in the darkness. You see it, Wilson? He yelled, his tense voice reverberating through the air. Okay, so Wilson I was literally his Watson. Shutter. And the room slowly came in into view. Mm -hmm. Sholmes was staring intently at one particular corner when he started whispering to me. The victim's most perplexing final words. The speckled band. I believe this is the terrible coil to which she referred, Wilson. In front of us was an enormous adder, its fangs bared as it threatened to strike. It truly was the most terrible speckled band I had ever seen. Okay. Well. 9th of January, 6.37 a.m. On board the steamship Beria. 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 Wow. So then, let us unravel this mystery. And discover what event led to this curious murder. Pray, do excuse me. The cabin door was bolted from the inside when the man was killed. No marks to suggest the bolt was tampered with in any way. So, this would appear to be a locked room mystery. In his final moments, the victim scrawled a message on the floor. Hmm. Almost certainly with the ink from this upset bottle. Russian word. I like the device on his head that he's taking pictures with. Yes. And the letters are well formed, suggesting he was Compass Mentis at the time. Hmm, this is a most extraordinary script. And evidently not penned by the same hand as this message. In fact, I deduce it was written by someone of a different nationality. This paper seal was placed just prior to the incident by the victim himself, I would venture. Well, what have we here? Uh, uh, who are you? And what do you think you're doing here? Da, da! No one must touch before maritime police come. We must wait! Shh. That won't be necessary. You see, in less than five seconds from now, I will reveal the killer to you. <coughs> what? <gasps> don't be absurd. This is murder. I need cabin locked from inside. Ah, yes, the locked room. But that mystery is paper thin. You, you don't mean the culprit is in there? <laughs> who, who are you? And where have you come from? I'm a great British consultant detective, the only one in the world. Herlock Sholmes. I presume... You must have heard of me. Okay, I was gonna start calling him Sherlock Holmes because I said I refuse to call him Herlock Sholmes, but you know what? Since they already said it so many times in the cutscene, <laughs> Herlock Sholmes it is. Whatever. Ugh, my head is throbbing. What's going on? Something's not right oh, here. Boy. There's trouble in the air. <clears throat> that was like watching an anime. That was like watching an anime. Wait. Almost low. I, I can't move. What? What? Ah! Uh, what the? This is how it Why am I in handcuffs? Uh, is this how okay. every case is gonna start? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. So you wake up now, hmm? Yeah, I figured this. Okay, I can't do a Russian accent. We had to drag you out of the wardrobe. 
I do not believe how you could not wake up. You are a true cold-blooded man. Da. You. Ha! You found me then. Da. We found you. And now you pay. Criminal! How long are you hiding in that tiny wardrobe, hmm? Uh, sorry. Now you have been found, it is time to admit your crimes. Unless you want to find out how cold the ocean is, hmm? I apologize to every Russian viewer, if, if any, for my terrible Russian accent. <laughs> no, no, I'll tell you everything. There's only one thing I'd like to know from you. Rinosuke, isn't that... Oh, that was... Why did you do it? Why did you take his life? Mr. Sato! Wait, what did you just say? Take his life? Whose life? Are we um... Again? Where, where is he? Where's Kazuma? Please tell me he's not the- Fuck me in the balls. Oh. Ha! You pretend you do not know. You are wolves in the sheep's pelt. You are the killer. Do not try to make excuses. What? Kasuma-sama... No! Kasuma-sama's body was discovered not long ago. He got fucked for, 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 Mia. He got Mia. Here, in this very cabin, that was bolted shut from the inside. I thought... Okay. <clears throat> His body? Please, do not try to tell us you were doing this terrible thing in your sleep. Kazuma's dead? But he can't be. I just talked to him yesterday! And these handcuffs! Surely you don't think I... I have to know... Why did you take Kazuma-sama's life? Answer me, please! No... Wow, you cut out for me a couple of times. <laughs> yeah, Kazuma. It was just two short weeks ago. Are you sure about this? Won't we get in trouble? <laughs> Don't you find it fun being a stowaway? Besides, how else could you come to Ingle with me to study? It was really something else when they brought your luggage in here earlier, though. The way that Russian crewman just tossed your traveling case onto the floor. I thought I was going to die. Hmm. Yes, I still can't quite believe that. I really didn't think you'd be able to fit inside my trunk. <laughs> you must be even less of a man than you look. <coughs> hey, honestly, <laughs> I thought I'd broken every bone in my body. Then you discover new balls. No, I've, 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 I've seen, I've seen some stuff at, at, at circus shows. So, um, yeah. Zuma. Well, it's about 50 days until we dock in Great Britain. But if you can find yourself to my cabin here, I don't expect anyone will discover you. <sighs> I hope not. I get the feeling those Russians wouldn't be very forgiving of a stowaway. Why can't you just... Okay. They're a sturdy bunch, that's for sure. What I want to know is, why do we need to keep it a secret from the young lady? Lady! LADY! Judicial assistant Mikotoba, you mean. From your close friend, more to the point. Surely we could confide in her, couldn't we? I don't believe she'd give me away. No, but if she knew what we'd done, oh, that would make her guilty by association. Plausible deniability. It's best that only you and I know about this, like that thing we did last Thursday. <laughs> hmm, I suppose so. 
Any road, it's about time the steward is supposed to come and clean the cabin. I know it's cramped, but you better get in there, I think. It won't be for long. The steward did it. Totally. I'm, I'm betting. And anyway, comparing to hiding inside my traveling case, it'll be a breeze. Yes, but what if the steward decides to open the wardrobe for some reason? Then I'll be in for it. Stop worrying. <laughs> I tell you what. Why don't you write keep out or something on this piece of paper? What? Oh, that's why it was in Japanese. But wait, even the English isn't in English. Then I can stick it over the wardrobe doors once you're inside. I don't know. We've only been at sea for about 15 days. How can this have happened? We were supposed to be going on this adventure to England together. We leave you at next port. Stay quiet until then. Don't make more trouble for yourself. Murderer! No, I'm not a murderer! Honest! Stop! You said before, you said you admit everything about your crimes. No, that's not right. I mean, yes, I did stow away on this ship, but... Murdering my best friend? No one else could have done it. Admit the truth. Is it... is it really him, though? Susato-san... Please, tell me what has happened. I need to know. Very well. But there is something I would like to ask of you, too. Ugh, those eyes. She looks like she's ready to destroy me. This nightmare is getting worse by the minute. I suppose all I can do is try to find out what really happened. <clears throat> uh, okay. Um... He, he really has been killed, hasn't he? This isn't just a bad dream. <clears throat> and these handcuffs. They think I did it? They think I'm Kazuma's killer? When they found him, the cabin was locked from the inside. Why didn't we get to see Kazuma's body? What do you mean? There's no access to the cabin via the porthole window, and the bolt on the door can't be operated from outside. You ain't watched as much as had to cut him, have you? In other words, after the crime, the culprit couldn't have escaped these four walls. What? Or to put it another way, the culprit can only have been somebody inside this cabin. What about the vent? What about right that up vent? There? <laughs> I'm glad right. you spotted that too. Or do you have some other explanation? <clears throat> this is impossible. How did he die then? What happened exactly? Are you still going to deny the charge? Even despite the circumstances? Yes. Please, Sasato-san. You have to tell me. The cause of death is still undetermined. They don't know how he died? The ship's doctor is examining the body, but of course he has no post-mortem analysis experience. I don't suppose we shall learn more until an expert has been consulted at our next port of call. So presumably that means there were no obvious external signs of injury then. How do y'all know he's dead? That's true, yes. Could be a coma. Yeah, it could be. Yeah. I feel like I've... seen footage of him in the British courtroom. Mm. In trailers and stuff. Mm. So maybe he isn't. I don't know. Can't anyone tell me what actually happened here in this cabin? I don't understand it. Why would anyone want to kill Kazuma? Presumably, that's something you know the answer to better than anyone. Please. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
Whatever you say, you were here in the cabin after all. But I don't know what the hell's going on! Well, yes, I was, but... He was still inside the Amwa. He would always wake before dawn and do his training first thing in the morning. I'm sad. If, if it really... I was waiting outside his cabin, as I have every day so far on this voyage. But this morning, he did not come. I could sense that he wouldn't. Does that mean he was already dead when Sasato-san arrived at his cabin door, I wonder? I knocked, but there was no reply. Then I started to become worried, so I went to find a member of the crew. The crewman forced the cabin door open, and when we managed to get inside... Okay. There was Kasuma-sama collapsed on the floor. Wait, why did they write in Russian, though? When is it ever established that he speaks Russian? Actually, the question is, when has the message written by a victim ever actually been written by the victim in Ace Attorney? Never. <laughs> and the white tape there now shows exactly where he was found, I suppose. I had no idea anything could happen. I must have been asleep in the wardrobe somehow. I wish it wasn't the case, but that's just very hard to believe. This is all very hard to believe for me, too. Trust me. He didn't lock his own ass and there. How did he put the sticker back on? I told you everything that I know. So it's my turn to ask you a question. Yes, alright. Oh, my head feels so heavy. It's still throbbing like anything. <clears throat> I have a theory. Okay, go on. Go on. I have a feeling that um, he was actually just knocked out cold, and they thought he was dead, but he's not, and they don't realize it yet. I because that's my the, theory too. But also, the person um, is inexperienced. The one that's looking at his quote-unquote body and um th there is no murder and or, this is just a uh, little warm-up for you to get ready for the real murder later in the chapter yeah that's what i'm thinking too why are you even on board this ship naruhato san you said something before about being a stowaway, didn't you oh yeah I'm afraid that's true. It's two weeks since we left Japan now, and I've been shut up in this cabin the entire time. I had no idea. But how could you have occupied Kazuma-sama's cabin for so long without him noticing? He noticed. No, 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 that would have been impossible, obviously. Uh, yes, of course. Kazuma invited me. He wanted us to go to England together. He actually asked you? But why? I'm afraid I don't really know the reason myself. I don't understand. Kazuma, why do you want this? What's the real reason? <laughs> Why go to such extreme lengths to smuggle me to England with you? Really cool dot 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 dot. <laughs> it's an idea that's been on my mind ever since the end of that incredible trial. I think I told you then, didn't I? That you ought to become a lawyer yourself. Well, yes, you did say that. But I didn't think you were serious. I am serious, don't call me Shirley. You have a talent for it, I can assure you of that. But I've never really thought about becoming a lawyer. Well, that's something you can decide for yourself. 
London is at the spearhead of cultural development, the center of the world in many ways. There can't be any harm in seeing such an important place with your own eyes, can there? Well, no, definitely not. But on a personal level, I wish I knew how to quit you. If you were to become a lawyer, then... Really cool, dot, 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 dot. Then what? Nothing. I'm just gonna be mysterious. Forget it. I'm gonna be vague. Question mark, question mark, question mark? Mizuma-sama is... He was always saying the same thing. I'm brown. That he wanted to change the Japanese legal system. <laughs> Perhaps he thought that he could do that with you. Yes, maybe. But something's still bothering me a little. Only a little? The look in his eyes then. It was darker than I've ever seen it before. Um, Susato-san. I'm sorry that we kept it a secret from you. By stowing away on this ship, I mean. If I know Kazuma-sama... I expect he was trying to protect me, to avoid me becoming guilty by association. That's... that's exactly right, yes. Word perfect, in fact. Almost Last like night. No other... Last Friday night. If you're not the culprit, then tell me. What happened last night here in this cabin? Well, the thing is, I don't know. Kazuma brought me something to eat, just like he always did. And then I got myself into that wardrobe over there, just like I always did. After that, I... Fell asleep? Uh, well, yes. So deeply that you didn't even stir when Kazuma-sama was killed? Uh, well, yes. <laughs> Shouldn't he have screamed or something? I know it sounds unbelievable. Really, I do, but it's the truth. What were you saying, Steak? Oh. Don't they live in Japan? Don't they sleep through earthquakes? Yeah, I don't know. They don't only usually sleep through them. If only I'd woken up, then perhaps I wouldn't be in this predicament. And for some reason, my head's still throbbing like anything. Really? Maybe you got hit on the head. Uh, is something wrong? Oh, um, no, it's... Please forget it. Susato-san, you have to believe me. I didn't do it. I... I really don't want to doubt you. But? But the trouble is, there is no one else who could possibly have done this. Ugh. Oh my god. Oh, oh my- oh, d d d d What? Show it again, I'll say it. Go ahead. Kazuma, I don't understand. Why? What was the... Why did this have to happen? I don't happen? know if they're going with it. I can't take this. Okay, I don't know if they're going with that angle, but there don't is Don't try a... to... Yeah, I'm not gonna say anything. Okay. Don't try to go anywhere. You're the perpetrator of this crime. You can't leave. I can't allow that to happen. I'm sorry, but Kazuma was killed right under my nose here, and and I didn't do anything to stop it. And now I'm supposed to just sit around, my hands tied, while whoever did this walks free? No, I can't allow that to happen. Well, what do you propose to do, then? Uncuff me first. I'm going to investigate. I'm going to find out exactly what I happened here. What happened here? Even in even with these handcuffs. 
I'm going to work out who took Kazuma's life and how and why they did it. So I'm sorry, but you're going to have to excuse me. Yeah. Yeah. What the heck was that? That was a Susato takedown. A Susato what? What martial art form is that? <laughs> Probably a keto. Going to need you to prove it. Sorry, prove it. Yes, your innocence. I need evidence. But how am I supposed to? Have you forgotten already? What you achieved just a few weeks ago? You successfully defended yourself in a court of law. Ah, I, I see. She's expecting me to present some conclusive evidence. I have to get Susato-san to believe me. I'll show her, her some evidence right now that proves I'm not guilty of this awful crime. Well, alright. <laughs> Should I present it? I don't think that's actually what you're looking for. Either. I know. Yes! I know, it's the paper seal. Tell me, when I was discovered in the wardrobe before, was this piece of paper stuck over the doors? Oh, yes, it was. I remember clearly. I thought so. Kazuma always put it in place whenever I went to sleep in there. Just in case the cabin steward, cabin steward or another crew member decided to look inside. So naturally, he did the same last night as well. Ah! Uh, yes, of course! Her mannerism is almost exactly the same as her. The gentleman who discovered you peeled that sign from the wardrobe doors before he opened them. But if I were truly the culprit, I wouldn't have climbed back inside the wardrobe and stuck this on the outside of the doors on my own. Yes, that's quite true. In other words, it's impossible that I killed Kazuma. Well, even if you are sprawled hopelessly on the floor, I can see why Kazuma-sama thought so highly for y of you. Thank you, Susato-san. Now, do you think perhaps you could help me up? That is exactly <laughs> Pearls's shock rea uh, shock uh, animation, I think. Hmm. Well, in the light of that evidence, I don't see any reason why I should stop you from investigating in here, at least. Thank you. So you finally believe me? I'm sorry. No. What? I'm not sure yet. I can't rule out the possibility that you used some sort of conjuring trick to put the sign back in position. Uh, okay. What does she think I am, a magician? <laughs> Magicians in an Ace Attorney game? Outrageous! For now, I suggest you investigate as thoroughly as possible in here. I'll do the same. All right, let's get to work, Susato-san. Please don't misunderstand me. I still have my doubts. Oh. I shall be watching you to make sure you do nothing that might disturb the crime scene. I wouldn't want you using your conjuring tricks to destroy evidence, for example. Conjuring tricks? R right. Does he look like he's got a wand made out of tree branch? Well, anyway, I should make a start on investigating in here. Examine everything I can. Kazuma, I swear, I will avenge your death. I don't think he's dead. I also don't think he's dead. Uh, should I talk to the Russian guy? <clears throat> Let's see if I can. Perhaps I should see what this Russian crewman makes of the scene of the crime. Um, excuse me. But I I was wondering how it's going. The investigation, I mean. Grandmother told me Japanese people do not make jokes, but it is, but it's not true. I see. 
Sorry? The criminal asking investigator for information about his crime? Very funny. Oh, it wasn't supposed to be a joke. Really. He doesn't appear to be laughing either. He's convinced you're guilty. He might have useful information, though. I have to keep trying. So last night, did you notice anything out of the ordinary at all? Yet! Of course not! Now back to corner of room and make silent! I say no more to you! Hmm, did I hit a nerve? Just for a minute there, he seemed a little flustered. He did it. Give him some fresh vodka. Oh dear, that won't do. Oh, uh, what's the matter, Susato-san? Whenever I'm examining things, I always find myself so focused, I forget to look around properly. Ah yes, that's not good. I don't suppose you're as foolish as me in that regard, are you, Nar Naruhodo-san? Hmm. Okay, yeah. I'm sure you're careful to look all around using blah blah blah, aren't you? I'm sorry, but B and M? Where did, what happened to BD? I to didn't want to say those two letters in conjunction with one another. Because <laughs> it could uh, be taken wrong. Mm, no. Black mage? Yeah, I don't know what... I can see... If anyway. there were two other letters in there. You're no, lying. BDSM. I wasn't gonna say it, but thank you. Alright. Now, let's investigate all corners of this cabin. <clears throat> yes, let's do that. I suppose my field of vision has been rather small up till now. Oh, I like the check mark there. Okay, um. Oh, yeah. That's an innovation. That's Kazuma-sama's precious sword. He never went anywhere without it. Yes, he was always saying that a Japanese man's katana is his soul. I believe he had to work very hard to convince the government to allow him to bring it on this ship trip. I suppose that shows just how important it was to him. And now he's gone, but I'm not ready to let his spirit go just yet. Very sad dots. Alright, um... What is that weird brown stain on the floor? What's it look like? There's no doubt, it's a... What do you think this is? It looks like a broken piece of glassware. Whatever the thing was, it appears to have broken clean in two. Where's the second half? The glass is such a beautiful color. It looks like a cute little Netsuke fastener from a kimono outfit. I'm not sure that sounds like Kazuma. He wouldn't have secretly carried a cute little trinket like this around with him, would he? And the mark beside it. What is it, I wonder? It has a sort of brick-like hue. Yes, you're right. It is the color of brick, isn't it? Even though I don't see anything of the same color anywhere else in the cabin. I'm sorry, <laughs> that's not like a brick color in my <laughs> It looks like something else! <laughs> it looks like something else! <laughs> you know, that thing from that guy whose voice I'm doing! That thing he likes to do all the time! Segi, the Japanese word for justice. The brush strokes are straight and true, just like Kazuma. Yes, his calligraphy always was a reflection of his heart. Yet you... Can you really look at those characters without feeling shame, knowing who drew them so thoughtfully? Of course I can! I mean, I'm innocent, so why shouldn't I be able to? Even though you stowed away on this ship? What does that have to do with anything? 
Now you're going to bring that up, are you? I can't win. Alright. Um. I feel like we should get wrapping up soon ish. <laughs> There's nothing on this table at all. The plate and cut cutlery are all over the floor for some reason. Yes, it's strange. Last night when I went to sleep, I'm sure everything was still. No, wait a minute. What is it? That's funny. I, I can't seem to remember anything about what happened after dinner at all. So, so then perhaps you are responsible for what happened to Kazuma-sama? No! I know he said no three times there. So, in the episode I just edited, we had the extra butts. Now I've got less no's than, than are actually in the text. That's my dinner from last you night. Know. A roast chicken. It was really tasty. Yes, it was very delicious, wasn't it? But... Did you eat it on the floor here? I'm not a dog, Susatwa-san. I ate it at the table, of course. Which begs the question of when and how the plate ended up on the floor. That begs the question. But Kazuma-sama didn't like chicken at all, did he? No, that's right. So he didn't touch it. Which meant all the more for me. Oh no! Does... does that mean... Poor Kazuma-sama spent his last night on this earth with an empty belly? It's just too horrible. Ugh, now I suddenly have a guilty conscience and an achy stomach. Um, okay, I am gonna end the episode here, I think. There, there's still a lot to uh, look at on this scene. There is a ton oh, to look yeah. at on this scene, so we'll see you guys in the next episode. Alrighty, bye. All right. Bye. Hey guys, thank you for watching the video. If you like my content and you'd like to support me, have a look at my Patreon page, where you can get rewards like joining my Discord server, requesting my next LP, and even guest commentating an episode. Link is in the description down below.